What's good? I know it's been a minute, but we've been working hard um, to drop this anatomic sound bank. Uh, it's up on the site, obscur8.shop. 50 custom patches uh, designed in a way that are, are suitable for, for sound design and sample creation. Uh, the 50 samples have, well, sample patches have multi samples. So there are 50 sounds essentially with three layers. So you have 48 notes with a high velocity, a mid velocity, and a low velocity. So that makes up 144 samples per sound, per patch. So that way you have the playability that you would have with um, working off of the hardware itself. So let's jump right into it. Let's jump right into um, how to load them up. And this is catered towards Reason 12. But if your your sampler, which most of them do, offer multiple layers and allow you to use multiple samples and velocities, then you can just Google or YouTube uh, your particular sampler and see how to do it and apply the same logic so let's jump into it this particular sample i'm going to drop into the nnxt and if you're wondering what this is this is an anatomic rack and it's a custom design rack which includes the types of effects that i like to use within reason 12 and uh, the nnxts it also has a europa synth built into it as well uh, but we're going to focus on the NNXTs right now and how to load the multi samples up. So here I have the folder, which has the high, mid and low um, sample sets. So let's start with the high. The key part with loading up the samples is making sure everything's in sequence like this is one through 48. So make sure everything is is lined up in sequence before you drop it in because it can um, throw it all off. So everything is in sequence one through 48. And we're going to copy all of this, drop it into the NNXT. Then the next thing we're going to do is right click and you'll see the icon saying auto map zones chromatically and again remember this can apply to any other DAW or sampler ensure that you can auto map zones chromatically and keep the notes in sequence the way you drop them in because it saves a lot of time now with these one thing to point out with these you don't have no information it just made it uh, uh, 10 times easier when exporting to not have to put no information for each velocity sample layer. So if the main thing is like for this particular um, sound, there's a table. And in this table, we're importing the Zubgan, which is really an organ. That's a misprint right here, but it's an organ. Um, sample the core range again it's 48 notes the core range is c2 through b5 so knowing that sample number one on the high velocity set is c2 so as long as you know that then you know where to line up your samples and make everything sound right so since i know the first note is c2 i'm going to move it over i have everything selected so i move it to C2. Make sure my low key and high key are C2 for this, the first note. Really, I did that wrong. So line it up to C2 because this is the first note. Um, now everything lines up. So the first note will be C2 right here. You see the root note. Second, C sharp two third D2 and so on. So from that point, you can play it like a um, a Mellotron and set it up like a Mellotron, which is really 48 notes or 
however many notes, it may be more than 48, but it was just sampled as is, no velocity layers, um, typically on the Mellotron. So you can play it like that, or you can incorporate the other velocities, which I like to do. So we're gonna go ahead and do it that way. And also name, just to help. I like to name my NNXT patches. And this is something I'll, I'll provide later, but until then you can get going without, you know, waiting on that. So name your patches so you can have the NNXT patch ready. Select all. What I'm going to do now is make this the high velocity layer. So I'm going to increase my low velocity to 80. Now you can play with these values. It just depends on your playing style. Um, if you want a softer uh, sound or a more filtered or more resonance, like the different velocity layers change slightly. It's nothing dramatic. I, I don't want it to feel too dramatic and too different in between layers. So there may be slight filter changes. There may be slight resonance changes. There may be other um, aspects of the sound that change in between velocity layers. So if you want to play it a certain style, then you can uh, play with the velocities, the velocity sensitivity. So right here, the high velocity is going to be 80 to 127. Now that we have that set up, I'm going to save that and move to the mid. Again, this is a custom combinator rack designed for this purpose, multiple samples um, and sound design. And I'm gonna drop a link once this is, uh, I'm gonna iron some kinks out on it and you'll be able to get the uh, custom rack if you use Reason 12 and build your own samples from it. <clears throat> so we're gonna do the mid velocity layer. Again, we're gonna make sure everything's in sequence. Grab everything, drop it in, and auto map zones chromatically. Then we're gonna to go to the first note of the sequence and drag it to C2. Everything lines up. And one thing you can do is stretch the note until the end, like the low key, just pull it all the way into the end. So it really ends up being a beyond an 88 note instrument. Um, the only thing to note is the 48 core keys are the, the meat of the actual instrument. So once you go beyond that, the sound is going to be different slightly but if it doesn't matter to you then go ahead and do it if you're not picky about it or or the sound just flows some sounds sound better uh, with all the multiple samples versus one shots and some don't so it just depends on your ear drag it all the way on the end drag the note the low note all the way to the very end and then on the high end you're doing the same. Then we're going to select all and take the velocity down to 79 because the first, the high velocity section was 80 to 127. So with this one, we're going to go about 40 to 79. This is the mid velocity layer. And again, we're going to save this mid all right and this is an nnxt patch and once you get in here you can play with the attack decay release um and all the features within the sampler if you want to but right now we're just doing a basic um setup grabbing the low velocity first of all making sure it's in sequence and then grabbing it all dropping it in and then again, auto map zones chromatically. 
going to the first note. The first note is C2. Last note is B5. We're going to st stretch it all the way out to, no, I don't want all that. Stretch the last note out to the, the very end and do the same in the other direction on the low note. All right, now we're gonna adjust the velocity. So since we went from uh, 40 to 80 on the mid, we're gonna take this down to 39. It's gonna begin at one and then go to 39. And then we're gonna save this. And this is gonna be low. All right, so now we got an instrument. And one thing to check is in this rack setup, I have everything split out. Like the high velocity layer is going to a mixer channel, mid, low. Everything has its own mixer channel. So the lower you play, you're, you're triggering the low set. Higher you play, triggering the mid set. And then when you hit it the hardest, of course, that's the high velocity set. And you could play with these volumes and you could do the same in your DAW and in your sampler. I would set up some kind of similar system so you can um, adjust the volumes for your playing style. Now with this one, I have some effects already triggered and uh, that completes really setting up the multiple samples and you have everything triggering based on how hard you press it. I'm going to take the uh, effects off so you can hear the raw sound. So that's how you set up the multiple samples in Reason 12, and you can apply the same logic to your DAW. And if you have any questions, just uh, hit us up in the DM on Instagram or email O-B-S-E-U-R-E-I-G-H-T at gmail.com.